Hi, I'm Ryan McConnell, and I'm a programmer for Plushy Night. So my main job on Plushy Night has been tools programming, mainly doing Lua wrapping. I'm the one who, when scripters want function in Lua, I'm the one who makes it for them in C++ and then wraps it via Swig to Lua. The process basically involves the scripters coming up to me and telling me what they need done. And then I generally try to figure out what that functionality entails because legitimately a very brief description of what they want. I usually do this by breaking up whatever they want into smaller pieces and then wrapping that into one function so that they can call it. Originally, I had done this doing a separate component they would attach, but later on I put it more into the entities themselves. That way they uh, didn't have to call the component and they could just call it directly from the entities. So one of the biggest challenges I found when I was wrapping functions was a function that would return the photo ghost that was closest to Gemma that was not closest to Plushy Knight, unless there was only one photo ghost, in which case it was that one that was closest to both of them. The way that they had described it was relatively complex, and I kind of needed to simplify it down if I was going to program it in C++. So the way I ended up going about solving this was asking the scripter what exactly this function was used for, and what they ended up telling me was that it was for basically the target that Gemma was going to attack when Plushy Knight wasn't attacking that target. So basically Gemma would be helping Plushy Knight instead of being a hinder on Plushy Knight. This made it a lot easier to break down the problem as basically just finding a photo ghost that Plushy Knight wasn't attacking, but that was close to Gemma so that Gemma would always have a target. That was the main process on solving uh, how to translate what the scripters wanted into C++. So because I generally made functions for the scripters, a lot of times the scripters would end up coming up to me and saying, you know, thanks for this function, it really helped me a lot. And I think that is my proudest moment on Plushy Night. It has just been that I was someone that was useful to the scripters. They are very appreciative of me. It's actually a joke that I have with them that they have to constantly remind me how valuable I am by telling me that my functions are a necessity to them. And obviously that's a joke because they say that anyways, but that's where I'm coming from is why I like doing what I do on Plushy Night, just because I get the gratification of knowing that I'm helping the scripters. Before Plushy Night, I had always considered myself as someone who was socially awkward and didn't deal well with other people. When I came to Plushy Night, I had figured that I was going to be one of the back-end programmers who didn't really deal with anyone outside of the programmers, and even then, very limited. It wasn't until Plushy Night that I actually found, or rather that they found that I could communicate well with uh, scripters, more so than a lot of the other programmers. So I think what I, what I learned from Plushy Night the most was I actually do communicate really well with scripters. So working on Plushy Night and working with others has made me more sociable versus before Plushy Night where I was a lot more introverted. I was able to learn how to work with others really well because of the tight-knit team that we had. I'd probably either want to do gameplay programming, just general programming to start out, but also, as I learned through Plushy Night, an associate tools programmer would be good too. I already know the process of getting things between the backend engine and out to the front end where uh, producers can work with it.